Hi hey guys, today I want to talk about the power supply, that item right there, that I use to run this 4-pill amplifier that a friend of mine in Ohio gave me. Thank you, Jim. Uh, that amplifier requires quite a bit of power, and at times it can take a huge draw from the power supply. Well, if I'm running it on a radio like this realistic, it's no problem whatsoever. This, at a maximum, puts out maybe 18 watts on sideband. I mean, that's with a loud whistle. And with that, I have, oh, about oh, 320, 330 watts coming out of the amplifier. If I try to run any more than that 18 watts that that radio does, the circuit breaker inside of the ampli uh, uh, power supply, <laughs> easy for me to say, the circuit breaker inside the power supply will trip and the power supply will shut off. So when that shuts off, well, then I lose the amplifier. I mean, it's not a huge deal because you just flip the switch and it's back on again, but it limits me to the radios that I can run on this. So what I want to do is I want to hook up this. I want to put this in line between the power supply and the amplifier. It's a big capacitor. Let me see if I can. Oh, I don't have my screwdriver over here. Oh, the clamp is loose enough. I can slide it out of there so that we can see the specs on this thing. I'm going to put this in line, and hopefully this will allow me to put more drive into the amplifier into that nice pretty blue box up there and allow me to put more power into it and not trip the circuit breaker in the power supply all right what i'm going to do is i'm going to strip the wires back the power wires that i have going from the power supply over to the amplifier i'm just going to cut back on the jacket and add a few washers to this and sandwich that wire right in with these connections all right let me get to that and We'll see if it allows me to put any more power into that amplifier and see if we can boost our wattage. Right now, like I said, peak power on the dosimeter, meter, we're hitting 320, 330 in that neighborhood. Let's see if we can get a little bit more life out of it. The, uh, the fellow that gave me that amplifier told me that he used to run 25 watts into it all the time. And he was seeing somewhere between three and 400 watts out of it. Uh, so I want to see if I can boost it up and make it so that I can get at least 25 watts into it and not trip the breaker on my power supply. Now, you may think that that's just a computer power supply. Let me unplug that so it slides out a little easier. That's a big boy. You see that? That thing is massive. <laughs> it's it's not just a regular computer power supply. It's a good one too. It's made by Delta Electronics. If you're familiar with the uh, power supplies, Delta is a uh, is a really uh, respected name in the computer industry. All right, let's get to this and let's get this capacitor in line. All right, so what I did was I just stripped back a bit of the the jacket on both of them and now I'm just gonna sandwich them in between those washers and then mount mount this up in the shelf all right it's all mounted in there can you see it right in there I ended up mounting it to the uh, the 45 degree angle support for the shelf all right, it seemed like a good spot and it made it easy for attaching everything it's hooked up now, and what I did was I brought out my Lincoln 2 because this one has the adjustable output power right here on the face. So we're going to see now just how much drive we can put into that amplifier. Uh, this radio will peak out at 40 watts with that turned all the way up. So we're going to see how much power we can put into that amplifier before the circuit breaker kicks out. Now remember, before... It would kick out at 20 watts. If I put 20 watts into that amplifier up there, if I gave it 20 watts of power, the circuit breaker on the power supply would kick out. Now we have the upgrade. 
All right, let's see what we have. Let's see if that meter is set right. We're on the 100 watt scale. And let's put it at, oh, I don't know. What do you think? You want to try it at 20 watts first? Like I said, before 20 watts would kick out the uh, circuit breaker on the power supply. Now that's showing about 20 watts, right? Let's go up to 25. There we go. At 25 watts of power, let's kick on the power supply. Gonna have to shut off the stereo because stereo comes on with that power supply. Amplifier is on. Let's put that on the higher scale. All right, let's see what we're getting. Can you see that meter okay? Yeah, you can see that, right? Problem is, I can't see it. I took my glasses off so I could see the camera, and I couldn't see the meter way over there. All right, look at that. It's handling 25 watts without a problem. And the amplifier is now putting out about 350, maybe a little bit more. Let's see that meter again. Let me see if I can bring you up a little bit more and give you a little better shot of that. How about if I move you over a little bit? Can you see that any better? Ah, oh, we got reflections from the light in here. <laughs> when I first whistle into it, look how high that needle's going. I gotta bring you in closer. I'm gonna be get a little shaky here. Watch that needle. It steadies out at about 350, 360, but <laughs> it's making that needle tag all the way over to 450. <laughs> I could bring in a two kilohertz tone. Uh, but I only have it to play over my speakers, and I don't want to drive you guys nuts with that. I'm happy, though. I can now put in 25 watts into the amplifier and get 350, 360 out of it. So it was an improvement. The capacitor in there did help. Uh, not a lot, but it helped enough. Uh, actually, let's see if we can go a little bit more power. What do you think? Let me turn that amplifier back off. Go back to the 100-watt scale. What do you think? Want to bring the radio up to about 30 watts? Oh, it helps to talk into the right side of the mic. There we go. We're at 30 watts in. Put that back on the 1000 scale. What do you think? Is it going to handle it? Yeah, you can see the meter. The power supply and the amplifier. Let's see if it cuts out. Here we go. Looks like a nice solid 375 to me. And holding strong. Fantastic. 30 watts in. On sideband. Nice. All right, I guess the capacitor did work after all. How about that? All right, guys, I guess that's it. Uh, give me a little bit more on the air power. Maybe a few more of you guys will hear me out there in Skipland. All right, till the next time, take care.